It's been two years and three months since the former president of the Senate, Joseph Wyas, died at a London hospital. To date, his kinsmen are still waiting for his corpse to be repatriated to Nigeria for the final burial rites. Well, let's take you to a community where monies are being donated to bring back the body of one of their own. In the present day Northern Cross River, you find a group of people known as the Basang Nation. Apart from the rich culture, tradition and bond that binds the people, what's most intriguing about them now is the quest to honor one of their own, Dr. Joseph Wyers, the man whose economic and political contributions in Nigeria made Obanluku local government area of Cross River State prominent in Nigeria's history. Touched life in so many ways, personally and corporately. A man who drew from men and also gave to men. He had a listening ear. Till he died, we never heard that he fell out with any person. Born in Basang, Obudu Cross River State, on the 21st of May 1941. Joseph Wyas can be described as a businessman turned politician, whose life after politics became undesirable. Having served as the number three citizen in 1979, Joseph Wyas lived his final days as a beneficiary of the goodwill of some Nigerians. It's a sorry thing that a man of that status, a man who had given all to his home state, a man who has given all to his nation, um, will pass away unnoticed. Joseph Wyatt served as a commissioner in the old southeastern state, best present at Kwaibum and Cross River States, in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Joseph Wyatt was Senate President from October 1979 to December 31, 1983, when a military coup sacked the then President Shehu Shagari government. Joseph Wyatt is also the first Senate president to act as president of Nigeria in 1983. Following the absence of President Shehu Shagari, he acted for 16 days. Dr. Wyatt is the second president of the Senate to come from the South South. When the former president of the Senate, Joseph Wyatt, died at the age of 80 in a London hospital after a protracted illness in 2021, Little did he know that two years after his death, committing his body to Mother Earth would be a difficult task for his family, his kinsmen in Obudu, and the Nigerian government. So why are you know, where is your father's corpse? That is the questions the community have been asking over the time. Though the medical tourism was sponsored by government, even if he died, he was supposed to liaise with government the same way he did when they went for that medication for the cops to be repatriated. The question most people are asking is, why is there more to do about his corpse? Following months of family feud, an organization known as the Wu is Wu in Northern Cross River decided to help resolve the issues and plan a befitting burial for the hero of Basang. Some of the few things they did were pacify, Warring parties pay an outstanding bill of £7,210 to a London morgue inclusive of cost of logistics. Clarify rumors about the body of Joseph Wyers. Devoid of all these controversies, the community is waiting to give Mr. Wyers' body a fitting burial due to someone of national importance. The community is saying, many a monument after Joe Wyers is not enough. It's not enough. We are all human beings. There's nobody that's so perfect. Even make mistakes all the time. For the family, it should have been cheaper to bury Mr. Joseph Wyers in England. But bringing him to Nigeria for a burial will cost at least 134 million naira. In Sankwala, the headquarters of a Bali local government area, the only thing that speaks of Joseph Wyers' name is this signpost leading to his residence. At his residence, the cobwebs running from wall to wall show the buildings have been abandoned for years. The only occupants in an adjoining building are members of the extended family. Hearing the news of a planned burial of Joseph Wires is a cherry news for them. Gladly, they were able to provide old pictures of the senator, although few compared to what he expected. 
on a courtesy call to the government house in Calabar. The state government promised to give Senator Wyas a state burial. My friends were released to that committee to start planning the burial. Unconfirmed report also has it that there is still some money left from what was uh, given by the previous administration. The proposed burial term for Mr. Wires is this new building on the outskirts of San Kuala. They are hoping the final burial will be in April 2024.